Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Sunday Night Heat and No Way Out. Dave Easton alongside my broadcast colleague, Maz Freeway. Maz, good evening. Good evening, Dave. It's going to be a great night of action. And as you can see, the fans continue to pour in here in No Way Out. We are ready for 10 exciting matches here tonight. And Maz, things are going to be off the charts. It's the fourth pay-per-view already of Season 2. Yeah, a lot's been going on since we started Season 2 here. It's going to be great to see what happens in these title matches tonight. Yeah, there is so much on the line. Titles, there's rivalries, there's anything you can think of is going to happen right here tonight. Div and Maz with you all the way through the entire pay-per-view. And Maz, we're going to go through some of the matches before we get to our first Sunday Night Heat match. And as we say, we're going to go through, well, the biggins. It's the NSW Championship Elimination Fatal 4 way Daniel Bryan must defend against Trey Donovan, MVP, and Jeff Hardy. This is going to be a tough one for uh, Daniel Bryan to hold on to that title. He's got three other opponents in there, and there's a possibility he may not even be a part of the pinfall in this match, so it's well, going to be an uphill climb for him. Yeah, he's got, remember, it's elimination as well, so it's going to yeah, be, it's going to so. be, he's, it could be that he could be first one out. Yep, and we could have a new champion by the end of the night here on SmackDown. Yeah, and on Raw, we've been building this for weeks. It's the World Heavyweight Championship match. Again, elimination. It is Curtis Bonnet defending against, well, the groovy warrior he likes to call himself now, Matt Rhodes, and the, well, the rookie Brent Starr. Yeah, well, the uh, groovy one also, uh, groovy one warrior to carry on and win himself a championship here tonight, or will the uh, uh, underdog here and Brent Starr come through and win his first championship indeed we are going to find out but we're going to break, go through now to our first match it is for the tag team championships of uh, the world it is the new champions carlos and hunter they're going to take on the new number one contenders and that is primetime players that should be very interesting to see if the primetime players could upset the new tag team that ended up upsetting the team that no one thought could be beat in mms and of course, we're going to see Mundo and AJ Styles fight later on. Yeah, that's going to be a barn burner of a match. I mean, uh, those two have been itching to get at each other since the breakup. Well, what do you make of this team, Maz? Um, the team of Carlos and Hunter. Indeed, they shocked the world. They saved their jobs to get here. But now as a team, do you think there could be a lengthy title reign for these two? Oh, if they can stay on the same page as they were when they won the titles, there's a definite chance that they can come in with the titles here tonight. Well, Carlos, ready for action. Remember, NSW app. Remember to get your votes in all the way through tonight's pay-per-view, Sunday and the pay-per-view. Let's see if anyone can magically do the 10. Could happen. Yeah, can you make a run to all 10? And I'm sure if, there, if someone does manage to get all 10, there will be a special prize at the end. But here it comes, here's Carlos' tag team partner, it is Hunter! And yeah, it should be very interesting to see if Hunter can stay on the same page with Carlos here and uh, take on a good team as in the primetime players. They've been here in NSW for a good long while and have made a name for themselves in the tag team division. It's true. And well, new tag teams coming up all the time on SmackDown. Remember we saw the formation of the strongest roads this week with Mark Henry and, Con uh, and Connor Road, sorry. So there's so more teams going for this title. Maybe a lot of teams now think with MMS out the way, it's their chance to get the gold. Yeah, and you also got like teams of uh, Mike Schaller and Adrian Kincaid teaming up to come at this new tag team of uh, Hunter and Carlos. It is so um, good at the, for the Raw, uh, sorry, the SmackDown side for the tag teams. This should be a very interesting way to kick off Sunday Night Heat at No Way Out. As you can see, the fans still pouring in here in No Way Out. Remember, we are around about 30 minutes away from the pay-per-view start itself. But we've got three exciting matches coming up here. And here come a, a very exciting tag team on SmackDown. It is Darren Young, Titus O'Neil. They are the ta prime time players. Yeah, they kind of had their start on Raw. Didn't really get much of a great going there and the tag team division on Raw and then got moved over to SmackDown and now they're getting a chance to win the tag team titles here tonight. Well, a chance for Darren and Titus that is it for their first titles here in NSW. Won the match on SmackDown to get this shot. 
Uh, they did very well, in fact, actually beating the uh, strongest roads in their opening match. So we will be off and running in just a couple of seconds. Get your votes coming in. It's already up there on the NSW app. Let's go. It is No Way Out, and it kicks off with Sunday Night Heat. Tag Team Championships are on the line. And there they are. Oh, goodness, it's, as I, I said um, on SmackDown, it's so odd not to see them with not MMS. They had them for so long. Yeah, it, it just seems weird to see a different tag team holding on to those belts, but things change and we must move on here. Yeah, and oh, look at this, Carlos already going for a submission move. This could be over already. Darren Young in a lot of problems. I think Carlos he lost don't his get grip. Paid by the hour. Yeah, I think definitely. Yeah. As anyone, even a tag team champion, can do a Russian leg sweep. And I'm sure there'll be plenty of them through the night. Yeah, I'm sure there's going to be quite a count going on those. And nice with side slam there. And Young, nice standing drop kick right on the button. Remember, prime time players looking for their first titles. So Carlos and Hunter are first titles for them, I do believe. As they saved their jobs a couple of weeks back. Nice back suplex coming up. And in absolute beauty. Remember, get your votes in, guys, if you're in already. We want to see who can go through the magic numbers. Titus O'Neil looking for new champions, but only gets a one. And, of course, fans continue to pour in as Carlos looks to be doing a dropkick on the ropes. I think he's just trying to show off. But anyone, even Titus O'Neil, can do a Russian leg sweep. And just for the record, that's both primetime players have been able to do a Russian side leg sweep. Yeah, a Russian leg leg what? That or was a side Russian leg sweep. That's yeah. What it is. Never mind. Titus O'Neil showing the power. Carlos, not an easy man to pick up. Oh, back break and an absolute beauty. And look at this. Looking for new champions here. Titus O'Neil into the cover. No hook of the leg here. Two. No, Is just a two. No, just a two. As but all four men in the ring now. And again, Carlos going for the submission move. Darren Young hasn't noticed. Darren Young trying to get the tap out. Sorry, uh, Carlos trying to get the tap out here. Nice back suplex again by Darren Young and standing drop kick right at Titus O'Neil. These two in are the le two legal men at the referee trying to get everyone out the ring here. Carlos and can. The referee seem to seem to have lost control here. That's true. Remember the what these this is for the World Tag Team Championships. We still have the NSW Tag Team Championships to come a little bit later on. As what? Oh, a nice sunset flip. Referee totally out of position here, and that could have easily been a three count if the referee was actually paying a bit more attention. Now yeah, is that might have been due to Hunter being not in this corner. That's true. No, oh, down he goes. It was Titus O'Neil has has he got the win with that? Surely he's put a lot of people away with that before. Two near the corner. Surely Carlos can break this up, and does at a count of two. Yeah, I think uh, Titus O'Neil might want to look to make a tag here to Darren Young to get him back into this matchup. Well, not if he continues that form. That big sidewalk slam. That could be the end here. Nope, too close to the ropes. As look at this going over now, both men trying to get the tag in. There's Carlos get the tag. Titus didn't actually tag in Darren Young, and that's why completely missed. What is he saw Carlos coming at him there? He was able to block, to block it. Yeah, back suplex and, and that one right on the back of, of Carlos. Is Darren Young will get in here now. Remember, guys, if you are watching us, make sure you retweet everything that we've said out tonight. Get as many people as you can, and make sure they all join the action. Here from No Way Out from NSW. Carlos, tag team champion for about two weeks. That's like the the length of a championship most people have on SmackDown these days. Yes, yeah, going back and forth here. As I, Carlos, big kicked into the midsection. And a nice neck breaker takes down Darren Young. Hunter going on with encouragement here. And look at this, just wretching the neck back. Could this be the end here? Nope. Titus comes over and breaks that up. Back and forth so far, Maz, in this one. Yeah, there's no real decisive winner so far or anyone that's been able to take control of the matchup, so it's still open for anyone to quick get that victory if they can find a way to put down their opponent. That's true. Nice arm drag off the top. Could that be enough to have new tag team champions? End of the cover. Hook of the leg. There's two. He got him! Oh, wow. We have new tag team champions. The prime time players. 
Yeah, Mike Hunter not paying attention and not being there for his uh, tag team partner kind of cost him the title there. And well, Maz, maybe that was the thing that you said at the beginning of the match. That, that they're not really a tag team, and maybe that has just cost them the tag team championships. Yeah, that, I guess they were just on the page, uh, got on the same page for one night to win the titles, but weren't able to put it together here tonight. So, sorry to say, uh, tough luck. Next ch champions have taken the belts. Yeah, the primetime players' first championships in NSW. Congratulations, Darren Young and Titus O'Neill, your new world tag team champions. Great win for Darren Young and Titus O'Neill. Yeah, Maz, wow, what a way to start. No way out. Yeah, could that be a precursor to the night tonight we're going to have? Indeed, and we've got so many more championships coming. Remember, we've still got the, uh, the NSW Tag Team Championships, US title, the European title, women's title, both the main titles. So many going to be on the line here tonight. As always, NSW bringing you the best action from our superstars here. Here are some of the matches you're going to see later on. And The Miz will defend the European Championship against former ECW star Johnny Dreamer. It should be a very interesting matchup for Johnny Dreamer coming into NSW, being from the ECW style. Uh, hopefully he can turn his hardcore style into winning a championship here on NSW. Yeah, and it, signing for SmackDown, Paul Heyman automatically give him a European Championship match. Will he deserve it? We will find out later on tonight. Miz up against that. Also, the United States Championship is on the line. Big A Langston defending against a returning Chris Jericho. Yeah, returning Chris Jericho, a surprising return of Chris Jericho, coming out of nowhere and attacking Biggie Langston, getting himself into the title hunt right away, and was able to get a U.S. Championship match here for tonight. Yep, the attack on Raw led to this match. Langston defending against Chris Jericho on No Way Out pay-per-view a little bit later on tonight. So much more coming up from No Way Out. And we are now going to move on to our next match, a rematch from... Main event, it is Harry Smith versus the Raider. The Raiders' first match on a pay-per-view. And, well, Matt, Maz, this should be very interesting. Yep, yeah, Raiders' first match as a, an official NSW superstar. And what better way to go against the guy he ended up beating to get that champ uh, get that spot on Raw to go against the Harry Smith here tonight. Yep, yeah, and, well, I'm sure Harry Smith will be out for revenge. You know, in that... He is the guy that got the Raider onto the main roster spot. Yeah, I heard he's been getting ripped quite a lot back in the back uh, by some of the boys there about losing to a 68-year-old man. Well, we will see if the Raider can... Well, if they can come up here and do it again. I'm sure Harry Smith will be up in his game, shall we say, Maz, apart from... Uh, I think he took the Raider just a little bit too lightly on Wednesday night. Yeah, I think uh, he, he kind of defeated him once before and thought it was going to be a piece of cake the next time, but it wasn't. Raider got the best of him, and hopefully he's ready to put up the test to take down the Raider here tonight. Well, we are going to find out. Here comes our new Raw superstar it is! Former NXT champion, the Raider. If you want some, he'll give you some. <laughs> and well, you've got to give this guy credit, Maz. Held the NXT championship for so long, defended it so many times, and now makes his debut on pay-per-view here tonight. Yeah, a lot of people say he is one of the hardest working NXT champions since uh, the groovy one Matt was there. Well... He came in on his first night, wasn't even supposed to be a wrestler, was going to be a manager. And now has come forward and is now def looking to really make a splash in the Raw roster. This should be very, very interesting indeed. Raider versus Harry Smith, the vote is already open, it's next. Match three in the triangle match that these guys have been having. Mm. As a... Oh, nice shot by Raider at the back. As how, how would you see this one going? Maz, give us your prediction on this one. Uh, I think the Raider's going to have his number again. I, I really think this he's going to come a long way, and now that he's got his chance, he's going to want to really prove that he should be in a title hunt somewhere. Well, Raider taking it to, as you can see, Harry Smith got the height advantage here, but 
I think Vera may just, as you said, might just indeed have his number. He did very well on Wednesday night. Oh, nice slam down yeah, he's though. Got one of those and the Raiders got one of those like never that never die spirits that he just wants to continue on and he'll keep going until his last last breath, I think. Mm, definitely. And it's you see he's done that a lot of time. I commentate a lot on NXT and I've seen him do that such so many times where he looks like he's he's down and out, somehow comes back and hits that last raid and bang gets the win. Harry Smith is gonna have to do a lot yeah. here to keep him down. He's going to definitely just have to stay on him and keep working him and uh, look for those openings to maybe get a quick pin or maybe do something the ref doesn't see. Well, in, look at this. Oh, nice shot into the corner. Oh, my goodness. That's what I'm telling you. Look at the shoulder first into the corner here. Raider trying to soften up Harry here. Oh, nice slam down. You guys see, he's got, he has got a lot of strength for an old man, Maz. Yeah, he's, he's definitely kept in shape, and I mean, he does work out, and he does run a lot and keep in shape, but I have years to say, do take a toll on you. Yeah, I have to say, I, I am so looking forward to seeing him on Raw each and every week, as Harry Smith, though, trying to get a big win over here. Raider, though, look at this again, showing some wrestling skill here. I can't count this guy out, that's all I'm saying, Maz. But when he gets to the brawling style, no one's going to get... Uh, Really? Anywhere near him? Uh, he loves to throw the fisticuffs. If you, if you want to get down and brawl with him, he's one of the best ones that we've got here in NSW. Oh, nice kick right in front of us here. Remember, guys, no way out comes your way at the top of the hour. So close to now as... Oh, the outside! The big sidewalk slam! And, well, really, you cannot win it out there, but he surely do some damage. But he's counting. Yeah. Smith, get back in there. Smith, oh look at that, just oh, a nice elbow right across the bridge of the nose, that'll stop anyone, but really that might just, look at this, hip toss back in, this is going to get rid of, uh oh, he's calling for it, is he going to hit it, no, whoa, what's this, whoa, uh, he just used Harry Smith's own move, showing off, showing him that he can do it as good as oh, he can, oh my goodness me, Wow! The Raider picks up the win, and in your face, Harry Smith! And another win for the Raider. He's chalking him up left and right now. It could be a good roll that he's on here. Six one for Harry, though. Yeah, 68 year old. The Raider continues on. I cannot wait to see this guy in action. Don't count this guy out going for one of the titles very, very soon. Could very well surprise you. The Raider is your winner tonight. So, Maz, we're at ringside again. Well, what a, what a start. This is only Sunday night heat. Yeah, what, and what a great match that was. I mean, along with the title change that we had at the beginning of the show with primetime players coming away with the tag team titles. It's been a great night so far to the pay-per-view. And we've still got one more match to go. Again, we're going to run through some matches quickly and then what we'll do is we'll get to our third match but as people continue in Maz everyone should stay around for the pay-per-view because women's championship is on the line Paige going to take on Brie Bella it should be very interesting to see if Brie can knock off Paige Paige is one of the longest reigning champions here in NSW so you want a little dying breed around here and of course Paige won the title at Wrestlemania remember Nikki has still got the women's money in the bank as well could be very interesting to later on tonight. Yeah, if Bree doesn't end up taking the match, if she can't beat Paige, could possibly Nikki cash in right after. Well, we'll find out. And coming up next, this is a bonus match for everyone. Bobby Hall from Raw is going to take on a returning Evan Walker from SmackDown. And what I've been told is this will go towards the, the match count from main event, which is currently, I do believe, 7-6 to Raw. I could be wrong, I think it's 6-5, I think. It's one of the two. Uh, we'll have to see. See if uh, Bobby Hawk can pick up the win for Raw, or if Evan Walker's going to walk away with a good win for our SmackDown side. Mm. So, here it is. Uh, I do believe it is 7-6 I'm being told to Raw. Thank you for the people in the back. 
But if you're a raw guy, this is the guy you want to cheer on. It is our hardcore champion. It is Bobby Hall. Very interesting to see if uh, Walker is prepared for this matchup. Uh, like you said, he's been away for a while and hopefully he's ready to go. Mm. Remember guys, after this, it is the pay-per-view itself. It is no way out. Make sure you stick around. Don't go anywhere. Get a drink. Snuggle in and get ready for some NSW pay-per-view action. It's coming at the top of the hour. It's around about 10 minutes away. And here is a returning Evan Walker. We haven't seen him in a few weeks, but it's glad to see him back here in NSW. Yeah, hopefully he can get on track and get a win here tonight and possibly get back into the title hunt and maybe catch for himself a world champion someday. And of course, remember, he did have a bit of a problem with Paul Heyman, uh, but he's back and maybe, as I say, refreshed and ready to go again. Yeah, maybe I'll come back, get a win, and start sticking it to Paul Heyman on SmackDown. And remember, guys, remember that if you're still in the NSW, which you should be, make sure you are voting for every single match. Tell us how you are also getting on as well. Remember, if you're watching us on YouTube, good evening. Make sure you, if you can, catch one of our live shows as always. We would love it if you could ca catch it on our Twitch channel. It's always fun to be here live. It is indeed. Especially getting in with all the people, the good people in the NSW app. They're always fun to have around. And here we go. Third match on Sunday Night Heat. Bobby Hall and Evan Walker. Come on then, Maz. Who's going to win this one? Uh, I'm going to have to possibly go with the uh, champion in this matchup and take Bobby Hall on this. Well, remember, the no title, no titles on the line. It's Evolve versus SmackDown match. Uh, nothing on the line. No hardcore title on the line for this one. This is just a regular match. So it be interesting to see how Bobby Hall actually um, goes again with that, Maz. And, well, also, uh, Evan returning, he may still have a little bit of rust and may not be up uh, on par of his game and could possibly spell a defeat for him here tonight. That's true. Is Hall then, early on. What's he going to do here? Oh, missed. Hall. Oh, Nelly takes his head off. Hall and the moonsault. Hall looking impressive early on here, as you see. Could be that Evan Walker's got a bit of a ring rust in him. Yeah, if not, that clothesline sure could have given him some. <laughs> it might have woke him up a bit. But, uh, oh, nice uh, suplex by Bobby Hall. And again, the moon salt Hall looking in tremendous form here. Yeah, he's staying right on top of Evan, not giving him any chance to come back. Just mm. as I say that, though. Yeah, just as you say that, Evan Walker coming back. <laughs> Commentate as curse, as always. And uh, now, look at this. What can Evan do here? Get momentum back in his side. Follows up. Oh, yeah, no. Ref. No, Hall got it. Sort of took advantage there. Drop kick in the corner. Referee slow to get out the way. Uh-oh. Lining it up for the Hall boot. There it is. Right across the eyes. Hall thinking about victory here. Oh, but he missed with a big splash. What a chance for Walker here, Maz. He needs to capitalize. He needs to get him set up for something. Took too much time, though. Yeah, Hall again. Oh, no, but Hall dumped over the top. Hangs on. This should be Walker's taking advantage. Oh, hangs him up on the top. That is not going to be good for Bobby Hall in any sense. But Walker's got to try and keep on him here. Yeah, these two are taking him to the floor and going all over the place here tonight. Now what's this? Oh, lovely elbow right into the kidneys. That was surely could do it. No, Walker not done. What's he going to do here? Oh, we've seen this before. Nice drop kick. Can he hit a second? Yes, he can. And he'll take out with the spinning neck break in the middle of the ring. That could be it. Into the cover. Hook of the leg. Oh, kick at a two from Bobby Hall. Only a two. He's definitely got him softened up, though. Keep working on him. Uh-oh. Oh, a close line right to the back of the head. And Walker saying that is it. Time to end this one. Okay, oh, Good night. Bobby Hall! Out of nowhere! And a three! And it's SmackDown! Level it up! It's seven all! Walker with a great comeback from a couple weeks off. No ring rust on him, it seems.
And Bobby Hall, well, back to the drum board team, my friend. But Evan Walker, big win. And I'm sure, well, if, if he's not friends with Heyman, Heyman will be happy that it's back to seven all in matches between them and Raw. Man, I mean, that was a classic matchup. I would love to see uh, Hall versus Walker, too. Very good. And a big win here for tonight on Sunday Night Heat for Evan Walker. Great way to end the uh, Sunday Night Heat show and leading right into the pay per view. I mean, just action nonstop here. Yeah, and definitely. We're going to quickly go through some of the matches. Remember, the NSW Championship is on the line. Elimination. It is Daniel Bryan, MVP, Trey Donovan, Jeff Hardy. I cannot wait for this one, Maz. Yeah, I, take a pick. It's, it's Everyone's got a 25% chance of walking out with that title belt tonight. Indeed. And, well... Brian has been going on about the yes movement. Will it continue on tonight? Well, you know what he'll say. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, and uh, I'm sure Trent and Jeff and MVP are saying no, no, no. Exactly. And from Raw, World Heavyweight Championship. And again, elimination. Curtis Barnett, Groovy Warrior, Brent Starr. Who is going to... Well, this is really going to be one of those classic... Well, you've got really the suit. You've got a veteran. You've got the champion and a rookie. Yeah, well, Jen Michaels guy be able to walk out and hold on to his title against these two tough competitors. We'll, well wait and see tonight. We will see tonight. We're going to find out very shortly. The pay-per-view is just a matter of minutes away. Guys, don't go anywhere. No Way Out is up at the top of the hour. From myself, Dave Easton, and Maz, thanks for watching. Maz, say goodbye for Sunday Night Heat. See you later, fans. See you in about a couple minutes. And that is it. Sunday Night is over. We will see you soon for No Way Out.